Hi guys, I just did a video, um, a continuation on um, the ingredient list for micas and um, iron oxides and FDNC and um, DNC colorants. Um, I ended up going over um, the time, so I'm gonna, like the other one, I'm gonna have to have a part one and two. So stay tuned. Alright, bye. Hi YouTube, it's Celeste again. Um, I wanted to make some more videos. Um, I left off on filler ingredients in my last two videos and this time I want to touch on um, pigments. So it's kind of the extra step. So there's the, the fillers, which is the base, and then the, the next part is your colorants. So I kind of wanted to cover those two. Um, actually I'm covering three. Um, the first one I'm going to be covering is micas, and then I'm going to cover iron oxides, and these are the two that are generally used in mineral makeup. And then there's um, D and C, which stands for drug and cosmetics, and F, D, and C, which stands for food, drug, and cosmetics, and these are dyes that are used. So I'm going to start off with micas, and I'm going to show you some of my micas, but I'm just going to give you a brief overview first of the different types of micas. Um, so mica is the name of, a natu um, of natural occurring minerals and like I said before um, I like little crystals. Um, it's, they can be obsolete or sparkling or they can be um, completely matte in appearance and that's kind of based on um, the size, of, the particle size of the mica. Um, so, so, like I said, some can be really shimmery, so they're almost like glitter, so the particle size is really big. And I'll show you some of those right now. Um, let me see if you can even see this on here. Uh, this one, I have a little jar of a, it's called Ultra Shimmer Mica, and it's a really, really shimmery mica. I like to use this if I want to really spark up some eyeshadows or, you know, I'm making something I, you know, want a lot of sparkle in, and it's kind of a silvery kind of sparkly, I can't really see it, maybe I can show you on my hand, see like the sparkle, oh see, there you go, you can kind of see it, it's really, really sparkly, and you can kind of see, I mean this would be what they would be kind of like glitter. Um, and I have a lot of micas, so I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'll show you the different grades. So that's the really sparkly one. And then there are um, mica fines. So in this instance, I'm going to show you bronze fine. And a lot of these, the finer ones, um, some of them are actually used in foundations. Uh, I, I think I, there's one um, oriental beige mica, and that one's kind of, you know, kind of close to your skin tone color, and um, it's a really kind of matte mica, so that one's often used, and it kind of still has all, it seems like all of the micas that are almost matte, I mean, I guess the fines aren't completely matte, um, I have one here, it's called Ultra Silk Mica Powder, Ooh, can you see? There you go. And this one seems pretty matte, and it's a white mica. Um, but the fine's pretty close. I like to use um, these ones, um, like this, this bronze fine. I like to use this if I'm making bronzer, um, and I don't want it to be shimmery. And um, oh, I wanted to address one thing. Um, I will get to, when, when I'm going through the videos, I kind of just want to start from the beginning. So what each ingredient is and um, what they're used for, and I kind of just want to, you know, start with your ABCs first, and then we'll move further on to like, you know, actually making the makeup. So I kind of want to do that. Um, the next video, maybe if I have time in this video, I'll actually tell you where you can get your supplies and where to start, like uh, what kind of references are really good um, to use and. Um, stuff like that and 
I'll try to put that over in that description as well. And I'm totally available for any questions you have as well. So anyway, um, let me get back to this. So, and I'm sorry about my voice, I actually have a cold. Um, so this is the, oh, I'm sorry, I'll have it. Bronze fine. And I'll show you the difference between that really shimmery one and this one. Um, and you can see it's kind of got like almost like a, I don't know if you can tell, a frostiness a little bit. But you can see it's a little more matte. You can't really, and don't mind all that little sparkles around me because these micas don't have a base so they kind of just float around. Um, but yeah, you can see it's a little more matte and doesn't have a lot of sparkle but it has a little tiny bit of a uh, frost to it. So that's the fine. And let me see. I'll just show you a few more colors because there are some really beautiful, beautiful micas. And um, this is like one of actually, for me at least, um, one thing I really love about making my own mineral makeup and specifically my eyeshadows because you can make some really beautiful colors and they're really authentic. I mean, you can mix your micas together, or you can do just like really beautiful stuff and you know they can just be just as good as that makeup you spend fortune for so you know you're the one who's adding the pigment so you're the one who is responsible for if it's you know has really good pigmentation um i don't know if you can see it through the bag because i don't want to take it out this is actually one of my very favorite ones it's always hard to get it's um emerald it's this really pretty emerald color and this one is um, kind of between that more fine. Let's see if I can. Probably maybe you can see it on the brush. It's a really deep green color. And a lot of these have like really nice, like they're mixed with other micas, so the flyers make beautiful colors. And you can see it, you really need a base with it. So it's a little more matte, but they. Um, they have really just, or they're just really gorgeous. I have a couple in here that I want to show, but just, I have this one, it's called Chameleon, and it's exactly what it, a chameleon would be. I, I'll have to show it later, but basically it's like almost a red kind of maroony bronze color, but it has green and blue reflex to it, so when you turn, you know, move your eye, you know, on your eye or However, you can when you go like that, it looks green and blue and then has that red color. And what's also really nice, a lot of you know, with um, mineral makeup, is it's really nice to foil it, the eyeshadows. And a lot of times with these micas, um, you'll get a completely different color. I have, this, where is this one? I actually have, this is one of my eyeshadows I made. And I kind of named it after um, the mica. It's called Dragonfly. And I don't know if you can actually see can't really see this in this baggie. But it looks kind of green and tealy on the camera, but it's actually not that color. It's um, it's more of kind of a bronzy color. I don't know. Let's see if you can see when I open the bag. You can see in there it's kind of more bronzy, but it has that reflect in it. And this one is, this is the one where it's complete, if you use it dry, it has that kind of bronzy effect with that little bit of reflex, but if you apply it wet, you're going to get that teal color. So it's really neat. So that's micas. Um, 